All over the country, thousands of women from 18 to 80 are signing up to work as online webcam models. For the girls, it's the promise of easy money. The most successful models charge over five pounds a minute and can make hundreds of pounds a day, all from the comfort of their own bedrooms. But the customer always comes first. For the hundreds of thousands of men who have signed up, it means easy, one-on-one -on -one access to their favorite fantasy girl. Does that mean your uh, cock's twitching a little bit for me, does it? We take a look into this secretive world of adult webcamming and meet three online performers. Sammy. The more you talk to them, the less they're wanking. Carla. I've never actually done an anal scene before. And Olivia. I was always destined to have big boobs. And find out what it's really like bearing all online for strangers all over the world. It's so imperative that you have good people around you when you do this job. I shut my computer up before anything could happen. It's not that much like people think. <laughs> Every day, up and down the country, thousands of Britons are logging on to adult webcam sites. The most popular category is solo women, and there's a story behind every girl. Do you want me to give you a little twirl? 25-year-old Sammy wants to leave a troubled past behind and hopes that webcamming is a ticket to a better life. I just can't wait to get my degree. I'm going to be healthy, Viva, instead of just emptying the bars. 21-year-old glamour model Olivia hopes webcamming can boost her career, but just how far will she have to go to achieve her success? The next thing up would be doing fully nude webcamming. Where does it stop? I don't really know. And 24-year-old <laughs> porn star Carla, who does the job because she loves it, but life as a webcam girl means she just isn't able to find the right man. A cock is only pretty when the guy is really hot. Yeah, that's what I mean. And that is true. Yeah. It's true. Otherwise, you're looking at it. Yeah, you're like, yeah. 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 Twenty-five-year-old Sammy has been working in the adult industry for over seven years. She used to be a porn star, but now just does webcamming. Working from home means that she likes to keep her place clean and tidy. That. I'd advise it for any human being, not not just a cam girl, to be clean. Because you, if you've got a clean house and you've got you got a clean mind, you know. It's a hard act balancing webcamming and trying to live a normal life. Sammy's moving flat and is waiting for the estate agent to turn up and show some potential tenants around. But he's running late and work is currently on hold. I don't even know what's happening with these estate agents. I think they're taking the piss. Orange answer phone. No, I'm sat here thinking, right, can I get naked or can I not? I just don't understand where people's decency is, like... just don't get it. I'm gonna get on cam. Fuck it. Fuck them. <laughs> they can fuck off. Sammy webcams through an adult website, which gives her access to over 100,000 potential customers. She charges £3.50 a minute, and for that, she offers a one-on-one, -on -one, no limits, hardcore show. To help draw in the punters, Sammy uses her porn name, Keisha, for her online profile. Keisha and her naughty self is getting off and loving all the sexual action coming her way. Now she's logged in. It's straight down to business and not long before she gets her first punter. He's gonna go in a minute as well, cos he's gonna come. Come on, look. As if. Is he a state agent? One minute! Yeah, just one sec. Thanks for letting me know that you're gonna be so late. Absolute jokers, mate. Seriously. It's like as if we actually knew that was gonna happen. Right, you're just gonna have to wait a minute. I've had to log off. It's like, I, oh, it's so annoying. 
Okay, I'll be back in five, he put anyway. He's a lucky man. You like to not tell me when you're late, don't you? Yeah, I know it is. I like you like to not to. You're supposed to be here at half six, no? No, seven o'clock. I always got told. Oh God, you and your professionalism. Yeah, no, I got told half six from your girl, innit? it? Being interrupted partway through a session is not ideal for Sammy or her customer. He might not even come back now because I've had to just do what I did. I was not. I had to just rush out. I get. I've got. I've, I'm not gonna lie. I've got a bit of an anger issue. Like, I, when I, lose, I lose my temper a lot. Like, I don't lose it a lot, I just lose it if, if, I've, if, if, if a situation is, is, is not for one out of my control and for two where I feel like I'm being disrespected. When, when, I, when I feel like that, I literally can lose it like, and I don't want to lose it. Like, who the hell wants to lose the plot? I know I don't. I just nearly did then. I hope that he doesn't lock the door behind him because I haven't got my key. I just walked out with no key. Have you locked my door? I haven't got a key. You haven't got a key buzzing, no, son. No, Finish, yeah? I recognise you. I've met you before, have Have you? Take care of yourself. Don't worry about it. He said he's seen me somewhere before. He's a, he's a blatant perv. And exactly where you see me on one of my foot fetish films. <laughs> Definitely. They left all my lights on, what the hell? With the estate agent gone, Sammy returns to business and can finally start her shift uninterrupted. Webcamming work can be extremely variable, but Sammy can expect to satisfy around 20 customers a night. And it doesn't always take long. Two minutes, 27. So I made 488. It's 2 a.m. when Sammy finally turns off her webcam. Sammy's main source of income is webcamming, but it's an industry she's desperate to leave behind so she can go to college to study psychology. Hi, babe. I don't really want to be interacting with people by taking my clothes off. I'd rather interact with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis, get into their mind and help them, not, not analyse them through a webcam, because then I'm only going to get one type of person, and that's a horny bloke. But in order to achieve her dreams, she has to really watch the pennies. Babe, can you do me a favour? Can you give me a, a few onions and, like, you know, so it's, like, three for a pound, so you got your lettuce, your cucumber, and then can I get a few onions and make it a pound? Your diamond tar. I got my potatoes and I got my onions and I got tomatoes and cucumber and lettuce and I just spent four quid. But saving alone is not enough. She needs to earn if she wants to go to college and that means clocking up the hours in front of the webcam, charging £3.50 a minute. How the system works, it works, it takes 30%. So in order to get £4, I need to get like, what, eight, like seven pounds? So all it needs to be is two minutes. Two minutes and I've got it. You all right, babe? In the webcam world, nothing is as it seems. Despite having a legion of male fans, Sammy actually lives at home with her girlfriend, Ma. I met her out on a night out. I didn't really speak to her much then. Um, and then, uh, and then my, one of my close friends came around here, so I came around to see her. And uh, she was walking around just like this. Uh, she was on the camera as well. And uh, we just, and then we just, I just stayed here for a couple of days, and uh, we just, we just got on. And then I just started talking to her, and then it kind of was, it kind of was that kind of love at first sight thing. Not at the first sight, but yeah. like it took a few days. had that look at each other, you know. Yeah. And then everything's just happened naturally since then. Huh? It may look like domestic bliss, but it still has to fit around the webcam. If the cam, like, if the cam goes off, it's kind of food gets put off, you know. So you have got to take advantage of two pound or three pound fifty a minute. Do you know what I mean? That's the kind of thing food can wait for. Mm -hmm. 
So I guess it's me taking over the dinner then, baby, yeah? I find it funny. The fact that, like, Sam will be talking to her and I'm just sitting next to her, I just find it really funny. I don't know. I think I kind of like the fact that, like, they're getting off over my girlfriend and she's, she's with me, do you know what I mean? I can touch her, she's right there, and they're, they're paying, like, stupid amounts of money for that, just to see that. And the fact that they're men as well and I'm a female, do you know what I mean? I've done well. It's nearly midnight and they finally sit down to dinner. Dear Lord, we thank you for blessing us with this food that we put in front of us. We hope that every beautiful person gets to eat as well as we do. And we thank you for constantly guiding us, blessing me and Ma in our bright future. And we hope that every beautiful person that you've put in our path gets blessed as well as we do. Amen. Amen. Did you let Let's eat, yes. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Ma is a student and Sammy's working hours aren't always ideal. It's kind of... When I have uni, it's kind of bad because, like, now I'm going to go to sleep and then Sam will come in, but I'll be knocked out, so... Ma sleeps, by the no. way. She doesn't wake up when I go in there. I'll be knocked, knocked out, so no cuddles or nothing. But then it's, I've got to get up at seven in the morning. Well, I've got to get up at half six, really. So, you know, I don't get to spend any time with her in the morning. Mm. I'm tired, yeah. Ready for bed, Twelve o'clock. It's bedtime for me. It's 12 o'clock? Yeah, babe. Oh, stop it. I've got to be up at... <sighs> got to be up, man. She's really bad. <laughs> I want to go to bed now. Her daily target is 150 pounds. Peak time for webcam traffic is 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. So for Sammy, it's when she makes the best money. He wants me to pretend to suck his dick up. Um, this can get mine, I mean. I just can't wait to get my degree. Like, I'm just... be able to get up to work and know that I'm going to be helping people in, instead of just emptying the balls, helping them, do you know what I mean? Like, actually helping people in society. After this guy, I'm gonna go, gonna turn it off and then go sleep. Cause I need to um, go to sleep, it's 25 past two. Sammy's worked later than usual, but she's pleased. She made 360 pounds. I did over double my target today. So, it's been a good day. Right, I'm gonna go to bed now. Night then. Twenty four year old Carla is a webcam girl and hardcore porn star. I'm open minded, I'll try anything pretty much. So I've got handcuffs with your baby or very popular that. <laughs> You've got like your whips. This is my latex, but bloody hell is it hard to get on and off. <laughs> got my dog lead, got my rubber blindfold and ball gag. My lipo clamps, that's probably the most lethal one in there. Anal beads. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's interesting. Obviously for webcam purposes, it widens your audience. In the two years that Carla's been webcamming, she's had all kinds of strange requests. This one guy wanted me sat on my sofa completely naked in Ugg boots and cover myself with cooking oil, olive oil, and rub myself in it. And he was on there for about half an hour. And now I charge three pound a minute. So, so obviously that's a nice little half hour. With hundreds of webcam models available to the punters, Carla has to make sure they pick her. So she's come up with some unique ways to stay ahead of the competition. I'm quite hungry now. So what I'm going to do, what I advertised was 
uh, basically watch me cook my dinner while I'm in my underwear. So like if I'm doing this, I like sometimes just get my leg up, you know, to keep the interest in there. Just kind of make sure that I bend over and kind of from behind or put my mouth open slightly. Touch myself as if I'm wiping something away. This is a group session, and five punters have logged in, each paying two pounds a minute. Oh no, this is absolutely bizarre, but people pay for this. I can just imagine them sat at home right now, just jerking themselves off. You just kind of got to use what you've got, and you've got to realise that sometimes less is more. Like you don't even have to show anything already. Or would have made, I don't know, about 50 quid from this already. And I haven't even got my boobs out. With lunch taken care of, Carla retreats to the living room for a quick go on the Xbox. Oh, for God's sake. I'm so rubbish. <laughs> A thing that I've just recently found out. I was on webcam the other day and I was bored, and some guy was like, Oh, you play Xbox. Oh, and you're playing Xbox in your underwear. Oh, that's amazing. And the next thing I know, I've got all these people coming in. And I made, I think, I was, what is it like? I got, got like 300 quid from that lot, something like that. No, like, just for like half an hour. <laughs> it's absolute bonkers. It's a fetish for everything. Yay! Hey there, you okay? I was just playing Xbox. <laughs> it's too hot, definitely. That's why I'm not wearing any clothes. I have a personality and I'm able to connect with a lot of the customers or a lot of the punters which come through. I like to just lay on my sofa in my underwear and play games. <laughs> you meet a guy to get them to spend their money on you, you know, you, you, you've got to connect with them, you've got to form some sort of, you know, chemistry to make them want to spend time with you. Does that mean your uh, cock's twitching a little bit for me, does it? With the webcam in, if you throw them out a load of banter or something and show them that you've got, you've got personality, they're going to want to talk to you. You just want to have a look at my bum, don't you? Dirty boy. Nice juicy bum. You could be bum. You could be watching bounce. <laughs> Easy as that. <laughs> so that guy alone was £12. That's all right. That's a nice little tidy sum there for six minutes' work. Never give them too much too quick, because if you do, then they're just going to done finish. <laughs> It might look like easy money, but it's no coincidence that Carla's a successful webcam model. She markets herself ferociously and is getting some explicit profile pictures taken for her webcam page. Oh, you all right, yeah. Carla's no stranger to getting naked in a studio, as she's been working as a porn star for the last year. I've always wanted to do porn ever since I was really young. Um, like stupidly young, like 16. I'm naturally a very sexual person anyway. And that's it, I'm ready. Is that the model walk, yeah? <laughs> so, nice glamour, down to butt shots, down to on the floor, and then we'll get to, uh, some on the bed. Yeah, so she wants about 300 for a set, okay? That's it, nice. The shoot has been organised by her agent. My mum's my agent. <laughs> Naturally, everyone's like, really? Yeah, my mum my mum loves it, funny enough. It's almost like she lives her life through me. So she looks after everything, all my emails, everything, like finds all my work. And obviously she never wanted me to do it, 
but I think she can see how much I actually enjoy my job and I like being my own boss. I can do what I want and it's something that interests me. Underneath, pussy and shot for me, Patrick, with a face as well. I personally don't see there's a problem in showing the world one of the most natural things ever, you know, so... Nice foot and mid shots on these, Joe, so they're quite arty, yeah? Put your phone in your crotch. Carla's career is flourishing, but being a webcam girl and porn star makes it difficult to find the right man. If I was to meet someone that I liked and I'd explain to them and I'd say, I'd, if I could see that there's some, something happening, I'd tell them, I'd like, listen, you, you need to know something, take it how you want to take it, this is what I do. And obviously, sometimes it can go, oh, God, no. Sometimes it can go, oh, yeah, come on then. And then you get some guys which are like, OK, I don't like it. Let's just not talk about it and accept it to a point. It's, it's hard. And if it happens, we'll see. But it's been a long wait. She hasn't had a boyfriend since she started webcamming. Ambitious 21-year-old Olivia is a newcomer to webcamming. She's invested heavily in her quest for success, spending over £5,000 on cosmetic surgery. Although not all the punters seem to notice. Usually it's just someone like, bend over, let me do this to you, I'd love to do that to you. Or you take your stockings off. As soon as they say that, I'm like, I spent so much on my face and my boobs, why do you want to see my feet? <laughs> Gonna give him a little twirl of the outfit. Olivia has gone to great lengths to pull in the punters, but unlike other webcam girls, she likes to keep something hidden. My ultimate limit is um, fully nude. Um, if they were being like really, really raunchy, I'd probably do like the hand cup, which is basically like not the most uh, <laughs> nicest thing, but it's kind of like that. So they can't see, like, any lips or anything or any bit. They can just see that I'm, like, fully naked and holding myself. <laughs> He's asked for a lap dance now. And she has very clear reasons for not revealing everything. That's the only bit of dignity that I have, not, not ever of showing, like, my downstairs. So I'm trying to keep that dignity for, like, Obviously, people that I choose to see it and not get paid to. My mum thinks it's bad enough me getting my boobs out, never mind anything else. <laughs> I just have to see my bum. Whilst Olivia keeps something back, some of the punters are a little more forthcoming. It's, it's shocking when you expect someone's face, but you just see their penis straight away. Um, well, let's let them get on with them. At least I know that they're enjoying watching me. Olivia's no nudity policy is working for now. But webcamming is not her only job. Mm -hmm. Her goal is to make it big in the glamour world, and she works around the clock as an adult TV presenter and model, appearing in lads' mags and national newspapers. A bit of latex. It's uh, not the easiest thing to get in and out of. <laughs> Olivia's been glamour modelling for two years and she thinks she knows the reason for her success. I was always destined to have big boobs. I remember when I was little, I used to have this game and it used to have these like wired little catchers for these dumping frogs and I used to put them down my top. <laughs> At a time when most young people are in debt or struggling for work, she's single-handedly carving out her own career, but it's not easy. Probably not your average 21-year-old. I don't know where my next job or money's going to come from, so you have to be quite mature about it. I can't keep obviously blowing up on crazy nights out and doing whatever my all my friends my age do. Olivia's on her way home for another webcam session. 
She's so focused on success that even her flat is geared around making money. I do try and keep my house like very kind of plain and bland. So I do quite a few uh, photo shoots up against the big plain wall. Um, I've done like sh shoots, push the sofa up against it. And I've done shoots in the kitchen and the bedroom as well. Olivia's getting ready to go on the webcam and wants to look her best. You do have to look like a slag at the end of the day. Like the slutty the makeup, the better. It's called like slutty makeup. Because of her busy schedule, Olivia doesn't leave meeting punters on the webcam to chance. I like I've generally booked someone in, like someone's asked to talk to me, so they're generally a fan anyway. So they wanted they like have gone out their way to like want ask me to go on cam for them. It's just a good way to end the night, have a little chat, earn some money. It's not like I've got any housemates or boyfriend to keep me entertained for the last few hours of the night. Talk dirty to me. The punter arrives and Olivia gets to work. Hi, it's Becky. How are you? <laughs> but as things start to hot up, the internet goes down. So bad with like technical difficulties like that. I actually don't know what to do. Um... With the internet down, she decides to pack it in for the evening, and the unlucky punter will have to come again. It's 2 p.m. and Sammy has just started her usual 12-hour shift on the webcam. This guy's been on the webcam with me since I started doing work tanning. He's a very simple guy, this guy. He always wants to be told he's got a big cock. So he's like paying like £3.50 a minute. I must get at least 100, 150 quid a week off him. Despite being an experienced webcam girl, Sammy doesn't always get the chance to glam up, and this can sometimes lead to some wardrobe malfunctions. Oh shit, I've got long jams on. <laughs> I've got leggings on, like, underneath her to just take them off and I'd like them, because it's cold outside, isn't it? To be a successful webcam girl, Sammy has to be ready to carry out all kinds of requests from her punters, no matter how strange. You want me to smoke for you, though, yeah? You want to go and get a little cigarette and smoke that for you? Let me take you in here now. She doesn't want to upset her girlfriend, so she takes the punter into the bathroom to smoke. I can sort of see how sexy it can be because when I'm looking at the camera and I'm seeing the smoke, I'm thinking, mm, it looks look quite hot, to be fair. Oh, that's it, baby. The life of a webcam girl can be a lonely one. During the day, Sammy's girlfriend Mara is at college, but the two of them manage to keep in regular contact. Sammy receives a call from Ma. Hey there. And she's upset. People at college have found out about Sammy's porn past. Well, I don't think that it's humiliating, babe. Babe, I'm not being funny, but they can't, who were they? They live at the mums. Like, who are they to even say anything? Like, they, what, they live at the parents and they got a fucking nine to five job and they think they can judge someone because they get their tits out. Who's, who's the bad one for looking? Oh, no, 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 it is the point, Amara. You're saying you're getting humiliated. What the fuck are you humiliated about my past for? I ain't. Babe, they ain't but the fucking two-faced bitches. They ain't, you ain't gonna have nothing to defend because they'll lick your ass to your face. They, they'll fucking buzz off it and ask for tips for the boyfriend in front of your face. Don't get me vexed, man. No, I am gonna have a go. I'm sick of you saying, like, why, why are you saying that you're humiliated? You want to show what humiliation is? Serious, uh, some people have said to her in uni about me, oh, do you want to see Amara's girlfriend's porn and all this? 
It's like, oh, for fuck's sake, man, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell is that? And I've just fucking gone off cam, like, to that fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit, man. People are just so easy to judge. And I know that when people are watching this now, watching this documentary, they're going to be fucking judging because someone gets the kit off for a living and they're going to start judging. Well, do you know what? Yeah, it's either your husband that's fucking get, who's watching us, yeah? And at the end of the day, yeah, all, all these girls do is just fucking make a living for themselves. Like, they, we're just normal girls. Like, just because we've done what we've done, it doesn't mean anything. Like... I just, I can't be dealing with it, like, it's like, I've had it all my life, like, since I got into this industry when I was 18, like, people don't have a clue, like, they don't have an actual clue. But there's no respite from the webcam. Despite being in a bad mood, she has to continue with her shift. But her next punter, a regular, cheers her up. Oh, it's my little fetish boy. He doesn't want to see anything. He's a fetish type of guy who wants to get beaten up. Sammy does domination sessions where she abuses and humiliates men at their request. So, can you hear me? How about you tell me what you're good for so that I can know what I'm going to use your pathetic little self for? There's no sexual interaction whatsoever because the only interaction with him is pain and humiliation, and that's the only interaction that they're ever going to get. I don't, I don't take anything off. You just see me sat here now like this. He'd, he, if anything, he'd want to see my ass and think about the thought of him being smothered by my ass. He's a fucking wild guy, yeah. Yeah, a little fucking slut whore. Use you like a little bitch, yeah. I'll blackmail them and say, right, well, I'll tell your boss, or I'll tell your, your mum, or I'll tell someone, I'll tell and I'll tell on you. Like, so then they get off on that, the fact that you know their dirty secret and that you could expose them to the whole world. You ain't valued. You're a little bitch deep down inside. Not only do the punters get off on this, Sammy particularly enjoys these sessions. I like to do the dominatrix fetish side of stuff because I've kind of formed, in a way, if this makes sense, a sort of hatred for men, like, naturally. When it comes to fetish and it comes to domination, that's when I really get my payback. My hatred for men has grown through my job. I, even though I was blinded by money and guided, misguided, I was never um, actually saying, oh, can I do this? Can I, can I take that up there? Can I have that harder like that? It was never me. And I found that now I would rather, I would never do that again. I would never, I would never ever, like, had, like do, have sex for money, like, on, on camera. I'd never do any movies like that ever again. But I would definitely, I would definitely um, beat up a few guys for money. Although Sammy no longer works in the porn industry, she still uses her porn name Keisha for her webcam profile and even has some old DVDs. There's a lot in her past that she regrets, but her life is changing and her old films are a constant reminder of how far she's come. It's, um, it's, a, it's one of the last scenes that I did before I stopped doing it. Any of the porn I did, I didn't enjoy. Oh, the two masters are in, um, the two teachers. When I hear myself, it just makes me cringe, innit? Because I know how fake it is. It's making me a bit sick. It's just because I know I was doing it for the money, do you know what I mean? I'm not watching this. I know how much pain I was in, so I'm not watching it. Sammy starred in over a hundred hardcore adult movies as Keisha, having sex with both men and women. But life after porn was tough, and at her lowest point, she was sucked into the world of escorting. Despite having made her last film three years ago, Sammy is still dealing with her experiences of being in the adult industry. I pushed myself to limits that I didn't even want to. Slowly but surely, I just... 
I just lost it and I was just like, nah, I'm not doing this anymore. I created Keisha because I was like, fuck the world, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. But then I became her and that was scary. If you become your act, then you're gonna hate yourself. And when you turn into that, you start to think that a bag defines you as a person. You think that you have to be this pair of fake tits and you start to question boys and think, are they with me because I'm this person or because I'm this person? And it's just not right, like, you don't need that, like, you don't need it. Um, you just don't, you don't need them things in your life, like, you don't need to please anyone. Your life's about being happy and it's not about making other people happy, it's about making you happy, do you know what I mean? <laughs> And sometimes, like, you just think with this job that it doesn't... There's things in the industry that you're doing, they don't make you happy. And you have bad people around you. And it, that's why I just say it's so imperative that you have good people around you when you do this job. Because people will fuck you up, man. People will try and fuck you over. And they'll pretend that they like you. And they don't. They just want you for, like, fucking money and stuff. And it's horrible. Sammy feels that the webcamming lets her have control, something she didn't have with porn. When you're being filmed for, for, for a scene, <laughs> there's only so much cutting you can do before the producer realises, I ain't gonna work with this girl again. So you then gotta realise that you're trying to please that producer and you're gonna take some pain, like you're gonna take some pain that you don't wanna be taking. That's why with the cam, I, I love it because I literally can tell someone to fuck off myself if I don't wanna speak to them. Oh, God, great. <laughs> That's not good. It's midday, and webcam girl Olivia has just woken up for a lunchtime session. Your average guy just will be happy with stocking suspenders and a corset, and if not, we can easily remove that. Start getting changed. All the glamour shoots that Olivia does means a lot of travelling, so she really enjoys the convenience of webcamming. It's from home, so I don't have to go out my way to drive anywhere, and if I forget, if like and client wants me to like wear something else and I've not forgot it, it's everything's here, I can do what I want. I'm free to like roam around my house and like be a bit more adventurous with things really. So I'm putting some lipstick on for her. They seem to like that. Change position, we get bored. This guy said that it was with friends, like, if they're getting me to try and, like, do some, like, crazy things. I've had, like, people ask me to try and do, like, handstands <laughs> and things like that before. So then it's just a bit like, OK, you're blatantly taking the piss, but still, they're paying, so if they want to pay to watch me, like, do circus tricks, I'll quite happily <laughs> do circus tricks. Despite not going open-legged, Olivia's popularity has grown. Apparently he saw a photo of me in a paper that he likes and he wants me to, wants to send it in to sign. He's got, I've got a little fan base where he works. Oh, he's asked how big are my boobs, so that might be the next question to get them out. <laughs> With her growing popularity comes more and more requests for Olivia to show more on cam. If I do start going, like, fully nude and showing everything, then it probably would, like, I might as well go into porn and start making, like, sex movies, cos I'm sure if I started opening my legs and doing it for them, they're going to ask to see toys being involved and stuff like that. It's just a whole new level that you need to go into. Olivia is sticking to her guns, but the temptation to go fully nude and make more money may be hard to resist. The 24-year-old webcam girl and porn star Carla is hard at work waiting for the next customer. Getting naked is something that always comes naturally to her. I'm the type of girl to walk around the flat with no clothes on and the lights on and it's dark outside. I will, so I don't care. <laughs> I'm just like, 
at the end of the day, right, I was born naked. So therefore, it's my right to be naked in my own home. If I want to walk around naked in my own home, I will. But on that note... <laughs> what makes you pick me today, then? What are you hoping to see me do for you? Do you want me to give you a little twirl? Yeah. What sort of? <laughs> like what you see? <laughs> I would love to be in that room with you so you could see how hard my cock is. Why don't you tell me how hard your cock is, mister? Is it throbbing? And is it big? How big is it? About eight inches. Ooh. You'll be surprised how many people uh, have eight inches. and dripping at the end. You absolute filth bag. I hope you have your fingers wrapped tight around the cock of yours. Naughty, naughty boy. And why don't you squeeze it as well? And just go. So, eight inches is usually the national average <laughs> for men these days. It's shocking that, isn't it? Very rarely. Do they say anything less? <laughs> Sometimes seven, but eight seems to be the favourite number. <laughs> so, if you're one of those guys, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Carla clocks off the webcam for the afternoon. Being in the adult industry has made it tough for her to meet a man, but she thinks she might have found someone. It's a bit of a fiery relationship, but um, it's all right, it's funny though, we'll just have a laugh. Carla met Rob, a 26-year-old tattooist on Twitter, and they hit it off. They've just got together and are in the honeymoon stage of their relationship. When I'm sitting down, watching a film, and you've got your boyfriend there, you know, I like to cuddle up. Nah, it doesn't happen. I don't get any, ever. I'm not being funny, but in a relationship, do you not do that? Yes. I sleep next to you. Don't you think that's a fucking laugh? Heartless, isn't it? It's not heartless. Fucking you get to put your leg on my leg. No, I don't. I don't even go near you. Because you're like, get off me. Get off. No, I'm not like, get off. Just you do it are. when I'm asleep. I can't say nothing, can I? Because I'm asleep. No, I'm all right. Sweet. We don't moan about cuddling, then. You know what I mean? Lucky I me. Know, <laughs> 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 my hands come. Not really, just some like, nice hot girl girls, maybe twitching each other's boobs, um, some nice bum shots. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, whatever we think is going to look hot, really, whatever works. So should we go through it then? Okay, now look at the camera for us. <laughs> Jenny's finished modelling for the day and shoots some behind the scenes material for her website. Work! <laughs> I can't do it! Stand it up! <laughs> Olivia wants to achieve the same success as Jenny, but there's a catch. Jenny bears all. The money nowadays in the camera industry is not great, obviously, since the credit crunch. It is a tough industry, yeah, it is a really tough industry. It's very competitive. It's not glamorous like people think. Ass, <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. Cool. Well <laughs> done, guys. Thanks. For Olivia, there is still a temptation to earn more money and go fully nude, but she's worried about where it might lead. It would be so easy right now for me to just walk into like porn or escorting or some things like that, and look, quite a few of the girls are like really deeply in, like badly influenced to go straight into that. I know I've been like strong enough not to take anything like that on and I've been lucky enough to be able to keep on doing what I do without that. Olivia's paying a visit to her mum Sandra to discuss her career. She's at the house where she grew up with her mum and stepdad and where she first started webcamming. Oh, thank you. 
<laughs> Sandra started her daughter's modeling career at a young age and always had high hopes for her. The first time I put you into that um, modeling competition when you used it, I think it was about seven or eight. Yeah. Oh, you hated it. But you forced me into yeah. a first catwalk and, and you then stood it stood like... there. There were so many people in the center. Yeah. And it was like, you was going, I'm not, I can't do it, I can't do it. I was going, you can live, you can. Go on, just walk down there. It's all my fault, really. Isn't it? What have I, what the have I created? <laughs> For Sandra, Olivia's work in the adult industry is a far cry from the early modelling days. I mean, I would, I would like you to get out of the industry. What would you want me to do? I'd like you to do modelling in magazines. Like fashion modeling Yeah, not glamour. No. You know, obviously, about the web coming, so yeah. I wanted to do it. Oh, you've done it here, didn't I? And you was like, don't want it going down in my house. I didn't like it at all. I think you probably did it when I didn't know about it. <laughs> I don't really know what you do on the webcam. Don't really talk about that, that much about it, do we? I smoke on a hat. Oh, Olivia. <laughs> uh, I'll get couples. What do couples want? A, a make-believe threesome. <laughs> or, like, the guy just wants to, like, to get turned on by you talking to his wife or whatever. Or, like, me telling him what to do to his wife. Like, like humiliation people, it's called humiliation. Like, the, the more yeah. you can do to, like, humiliate them, the better. And then, like, people, like, being dominated, but, like, dominated, like, being hurt, that kind of thing. Mm. Like, literally demanding them to do, like, the most painful of things. Yeah. I just can't believe that people pay for <laughs> this. Me and Ma have settled into their new flat together. For Sammy, it's the first of a number of changes she's making in her life as she tries to shake off her porn past. I just want to leave all the negativity behind. You know, I want to... I'll never forget my past, and, you know, I'm never going to be able to take away the fact that I am Keisha, that I was Keisha, you know, so it's not like I'm hiding anything. I would always admit to, yeah, that was me, but in 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 the sense of it was, like, it not it's not anymore. That's not who I am. Sammy still uses Keisha as her webcam profile, but that's all about to change. I'm just going to be changing my name today. Sort of to my real name. I'm going to change my modelling name to Sammy. I just want to start afresh. Now it's just time for Sammy to have some shine. I've never believed in myself as much as I do now. I'm gonna change it now. So now it's gonna get changed to science. See? Oh. Good. Feel cleansed. I'm feeling very positive about all this. Very, very positive. 18 to 80 are signing up to work as online webcam models. For the girls, it's the promise of easy money. The most successful models charge over five pounds a minute and can make hundreds of pounds a day, all from the comfort of their own bedrooms. Absolute that. But the customer always comes first. For the hundreds of thousands of men who have signed up, it means easy, one-on-one -on -one access to their favourite fantasy girl. Does that mean your uh, cock's twitching a little bit for me, does it? We take a look into this secretive world of adult webcamming and meet three online performers. Sammy. The more you talk to them, the less they're wanking. Carla. I've never actually done an anal scene before. And Olivia. I was always destined to have big boobs. And find out what it's really like bearing all online for strangers all over the world. Hey, it's so imperative that you have good people around you when you do this job. I shut my computer up before anything could happen. It's not that most like people think. <laughs> Every day, up and down the country, thousands of Britons are logging on to adult webcam sites. The most popular category is solo women, and there's a story behind every girl. Do you want me to give you a little twirl? 
25-year-old Sammy wants to leave a troubled past behind and hopes that webcamming is a ticket to a better life. I just can't wait to get my degree. I'm going to be healthy, Viva, instead of just emptying the balls. 21-year-old <laughs> glamour model Olivia hopes webcamming can boost her career, but just how far will she have to go to achieve her success? The next thing up would be doing fully nude webcamming. Where does it stop? I don't really know. And 24-year-old <laughs> porn star Carla, who does the job because she loves it, but life as a webcam girl means she just isn't able to find the right man. The cock is only pretty when the guy is really hot. Yeah, that's what I mean. And that is true. Yeah. It's true. Otherwise, you're looking at it. Yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Twenty-five-year-old Sammy has been working in the adult industry for over seven years. She used to be a porn star, but now just does webcamming. Working from home means that she likes to keep her place clean and tidy. I'd advise it for any human being, not, not just a cam girl, to be clean, because if you, you've got a clean house and you've got, you've got a clean mind, you know? It's a hard act balancing webcamming and trying to live a normal life. Sammy's moving flat and is waiting for the estate agent to turn up and show some potential tenants around. But he's running late and work is currently on hold. I don't even know what's happening with these estate agents. I think they're taking the piss. Welcome to Orange Arms Phone. No, I'm sat here thinking, right, can I get naked or can I not? I just don't understand where people's decency is, like... just don't get it. I'm gonna get on cam. Fuck it. Fuck them. They can fuck off. Sammy webcams through an adult website